on our last episode of Duke City Championship Wrestling, Jaden Money Monroe made his solo debut, standing in opposition to the newly beloved Valley Bio. The young prospect was quick to take the fight to his established opponent, pummeling the popular prestidigitator with a flurry of concussive force. But only a fool would count the mimetic magician out of the fight before he'd even gotten started. Valak Vial weathered the storm of offense and showed his foe how extensive his own bag of tricks happened to be. Amidst the melee, referee Francisco was taken out, and with his characteristic total blindness without his glasses opening the way, Money Monroe devised a plan to conjure a victory all his own. But the handling of magic wands should be left to the professionals, as Valak Vile turned the tables, leaving Money Monroe in overdraft. In our main event, Class and Devin Reno exulted at the prospect of a handicap match against Tommy Tess, only to be caught unaware by Turbo Tony valiantly electing to pull double duty so his tag team partner wouldn't have to go it alone. Having to reconsider their strategy on the fly did not work out in power and privilege's favor, as the duo known as Turbo Test overwhelmed their opponents, hitting the checkered flag drop for the three count. And folks, we've got a highlight reel match coming on up for DCCW's final journey in the form of the looks that kill Brian Idol as he steps into the ring with one of the titans of DCCW, one Turbo Tony. Now, what can the fans look forward to from the looks that kill tonight? First of all, I'm already disappointed. The last time I was here, I had a hot looking broad, not you. So now I got to answer to you and I got to answer to the fans what they want to see. I don't care what they want to see or what they expect to see. What they're going to see is the looks that kill the one and only V. Brian Idol do exactly what he does. And that send Turbo Tony back to the locker room at a turbo pace because he's nothing but a bum. He's lucky that he's getting in the ring with me. And I tell you right now, after the show, he's going to be crying in his tiny little Toyota because that's what he's going to do because that's where I'm going to send him like I already said, but I'm going to say it again twice because I'm not talking to the smartest people in the world here and that's just the way it goes <laughs> remember turbo tony looks kill and so do i <laughs> and folks you know we've got a banger lined up after this brian idol turbo tony let's take it back to the ring Hi, and welcome to the beautiful and historic el ray theater i of course am fred slow alongside me chris burnett chris what an exciting night of pro wrestling we have installed Man, it has already been crazy. We've seen some of the most amazing things, and we've got two great matches for you guys tonight. I can't wait. Chewie Martinez takes on Mr. Happy in our opener, and of course our main event, Turbo Tony versus Brian Idol. We hand it over to Adam Merrick. You guys ready to keep up the momentum? Let's get it started. Our next match is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Duke City Championship Wrestling Route 66 Championship. This is a big one, Chris. The third, the second title defense. Am I doing math right here? What's that? I missed one episode of the show. Mr. Happy defends again his title yes, against Chewy go. Martinez. Here we go. You're rusty. <laughs> What's going on here? All the were gone. Wow. Work for well, this is Lee Greenwood. Okay. I had to start again. I don't believe we own the rights to this. I, I don't think we do either. Thank my lucky star. Uh, is this Mr. Happy or is this? I don't believe it is. Because okay. the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. Okay, I guess the crowd's going to sing along. And I'm proud to be an American. Get the men who died, who gave that right to me, and I gladly 
Introducing first the challenger from the mountains of Amarillo, Texas. Weighed in at 420 kilos, the Texas Hangman, Chewy Martinez. Uh, love him or most likely hate him, Fred. Chewy Martinez is a force to be reckoned with here in Duke City Championship. Impressive, would you say? I mean, Fred has said it all from sea to in not so many words. There are just shy of 500 people. Everyone shut up right now! I said shut up! Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, my brother Hillbilly had an epiphany last night. Did you call him Hillbilly? When we were sitting down watching an amazing Teletube and we saw an amazing speech by an American icon, number one. What you gonna do, brother? He's talking about... Uh... Then... A beautiful man named of Dana White came on and he let all you people understand how great real Americans really are. Huh. But not only that, not only that, but why would Hillbilly or myself ever, ever not vote for Donald J. Trump. Because ladies and gentlemen, in November, Donald J. Trump will once again make America great again. Oh, and then he will also get rid of all the illegal aliens too. <laughs> wow, divisive words by Chewy Martinez. Do you think Hillbilly is his first name or his last name, Fred? I know that Mark, I know that Chewy's last name is Martinez. Do you think uh, it's, his first name is Hill and his last name is Billy? Oh, wow. And his opponent. From right here, Route 66. Coming in at a weight of 720 jawbreakers. He is the DCCW Route 66 champion. It's Mr. Happy. One of the most popular competitors here at Duke City Championship Wrestling, Fred. Route 66 champion, Happy the Clown. Excuse me if I don't compensate. I'm too busy clapping my hands. Of course. I don't think anybody was more surprised that he won the title than Happy the Clown himself, Fred. Or his horsey. Or his horsey. Better mascot or manager, horsey or hillbilly? I believe Chuy Martinez is holding up a hat that says Latinos for Trump. Wow. A very political uh, Chuy Martinez. I've never seen this before. Oh! Speaking of, shot from behind from the Latino for Trump himself, Chuy Martinez, the Texas hangman, and Mr. Happy at disadvantage early. Wow. Open hand to the chest. And we got rookie referee in there. That's uh, Jared. Jared Smarud. Mr. Happy into the corner. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Hillbilly inserting himself in the match right away. Also, Hardcore, his first name. His, fr his first name is Hardcore? He's Hardcore Hillbilly. That is correct. Okay. All right. 
I have a lot of questions now, Fred. He's wrestling with the hat on. Ah. Hardcore hillbilly. And the fanny pack. Uh, if you're an uh, English fan, that's a bum bag. I also believe it has the Puerto Rican flag on it, which is a little confusing. Very confusing. Well, I mean, it's part of the United States. Oh, hard chop, Chewy Martinez. Oh, gosh. I don't know if it needed all of that, but what do I know? Oh, up just the pure strength of Chewy Martinez oh, puts wow. the champ into the corner. Quite a checkered uh, win and loss record by Chewy Martinez here in Duke City Championship Wrestling. He does Fred. win some. He does lose he some. Does. I will say this about the sum. It has a lot of that in it. What yes. Hardcore Hillbilly is doing, which is flat out cheating. Correct. I mean, if he's trying to get his political point across, I don't think he's doing a very good job of it. But again, oh, my opinion. The wow. Fish hook. He, oh, no. He's putting the Trump hat on him. A lot of disrespect oh, here. Oh, this is awful. Clown. Wow. It absolutely says Latinos for Trump. And then what looks to be an embroidered signature of Donald Trump on the bill. Wow. I mean, I don't know which side, you know, anybody stands on here, but. Uh, it's hard to like Chewy Martinez. Well, regardless of your political affiliation, all my homies hate Chewy Martinez. Correct. Martinez has happy side lock up and oh. over. Belly to side suplex. He puts the hat on before the pin. <laughs> <laughs> He's the stupid. Two count. Chewy C excited about that. Chewy wrestles weekly Perillo. I don't know if you know this. I did not. And they do a signature hardcore show the final Saturday of every month. Wow. And he is not afraid to find the camera while performing. I feel like hardcore hardcore Billbilly also probably in this same group. Mr. Happy has Martinez locked a little wishbone here. Working the quad. Oh, make sure everyone in the audience can see two in a row there. Uh, good bone there, but uh, Tree kicks. Schoolboy seems to be the popular move of the night. A uh, handful well, of tights. Yeah, did hook the tights as well. You yeah. called it. Hardcore Hillbilly seems to be a little bit frustrated on the outside of the ring as he parades around. Now this note just came to me. Chewy Martinez has been asked to be referred to as MAGA Chewy for the rest of the night. MAGA Chewy. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not calling him that. Maybe Maggot Chewy. No, thank you. I'll call him what's on his birth certificate. Chewstifer? Chewstifer. <laughs> that was a... Almost a variation of the beak breaker there. Magna Chewy yeah. goes to the mat on the floor. And uh, Happy's taking his time, trying to gather a little bit of momentum, it looks like. Hardcore Hillbilly, a little too close, I think. Going to keep Jared uh, Smarood on his feet. Repeated blows on the outside. The count is, um, I guess, not enforced in the Route 66. Oh! Oh, racks him on the he tried bike to, rack. He, he tried to go over the guardrail the hard way, Fred. He bike racked him. He did. Chewy Martinez back in the ring. Again, asking to be referred to as MAGA Chewy. Well, I'm not doing that. No, sir. Is he trying to make fun of Tommy Scoops here? Two scoops here? Not sure. A little bit different physique for uh, Chewy Martinez over Tommy Two Scoops. He's uh, he's asking Jared for assistance. And no, it's just an opportunity okay. for the hardcore hillbilly. You know, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty hard for the champion, Happy the Clown. He's not only got to wrestle Chewy Martinez. He's also got to wrestle hardcore hillbilly. And maybe even Jared Smarud. We don't really know. 
Also Ooh. coming over from Lubbock. Yeah. Oh, Chewy Martinez is calling for the end of it. He calls this finisher the USA. Okay. Happy the Clown fighting out of it. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, Mr. oh he's turning it. Oh, and he rolls it over. It's three of them. What? Here is your Happy winner. Clown steals it. And still, DCCW yeah. 66 oh. champion, Mr. Happy. Two Martinez lost the match, lost his hat, lost his respect. Maga Chewy takes the loss in this one. And by the way that this crowd reacted, they hope that Donald Trump takes a loss in November. Not sure. I just know if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That is what they say, my friend. shows it all. Man, what can you say, Fred? We saw a new Tui Martinez lose tonight, which I'm not going to say I'm not happy about. Joining us in the broadcast booth, Dan Mayfield. Woo! Dan, welcome. How are you? I am so much better tonight. Yeah. Yeah, this has been a great time. Okay. Tremendous start to this episode as Mr. Happy defended his Route 66 title against Tui Martinez. And now, of course, Turbo Tony takes on Brian Idol in Turbo Tony's second matchup of the night. Dan Mayfield, what can we expect to see? Tony does not have any energy left after the Turbo Test match. I don't know wow. how he can do it. Tony went in earlier, hot, he was ready to go, but he was ready for this match, and I think he's gonna be exhausted. Wow, that's, but, that, that's a good point. That's, that being said, you've seen Tony when the adrenaline gets pumping. Yeah, oh yeah. And He's, you can never count him out because he's going to be ready for this. Mr. Happy behind Mr. us. Mr. Happy running through the and crowd. We, we hand it over to Fernando Gonzalez in the ring. Who's that dude over there? He looks like a wrestler. <laughs> now, folks. That is what I call a title defense. Now, Mr. Happy, you know they said it couldn't be done, and yet you have scaled the mountain of Amarillo, Chewy Martinez. So, I mean, that is about as much as we're going to be seeing around here. So what does the future hold during your hopefully very long title reign? Well, Brent Ferdinando, I will tell you what. I do not know what the future holds. I am just a clown with a nifty championship. Essentially opening it up for any challenger. So, folks, Mr. Happy is your Route 66 champion, and I think it's safe to say that victory 
is no laughing matter. There you have it, a fighting champion, Mr. Happy, the Route 66 champion, two-time defender, right? Who's going to be next, Fred? We'll see. It's going to be, it's got to be somebody who really knows what they're doing, because Happy's been on a roll. He's How could it roll. not be Turbo Tony? It could be. Tony did lose out on his title defense before, his title shot earlier. Turbo Tony could be Hobo Hank. Very much. Could be Brian Idol. You know, Hobo Hank is victorious later tonight. I don't think Brian Idol's going to come back after what Tony does to him in the next match. Oh, oh wow. Brian Idol yet to record a victory here in Duke City Championship Wrestling. It's been a minute. Well, and he, you know, I don't know what his record is in the NWA, but not here. Here, not so good. Our next match, it's scheduled for one fall. The looks that kill. Uh -huh. NWA's own Brian Idol. Hmm. I don't think he knows what Turbo Tony's bringing tonight. Though. Introducing first. Hopefully 100%. From Los Angeles, California. Weighed in at 227 pounds. The looks that kill. Brian Idol. I don't think Brian has any idea what he's in for tonight. I think Tony is ready for this one because Tony knows where Brian comes from. And Tony wants to make his mark tonight. He was telling me that he wanted to show Brian a thing or two when he got in the ring. Honestly, I think you're right, Dan. I think it's easier for Tony to scout Brian than it would be for Brian to scout Tony. Lots of tape on Brian Idol as he obviously wrestles all over the world with the NWA. Also, tours with Billy Corgan and the Smashing Pumpkins. He's got a pretty good life, boys. Yeah. He's got nothing to prove by beating Tony, but Tony's got everything to prove by beating him. Correct. Turbo Tony, who already performed tonight here at the Historic El Rey in tag team action. High flying tag team action. Look at that intro. Oh, this, by the way, this is Tony's new intro. He worked hard on this one. Did he? He did it all himself, he said. Did Kevin in the back cut it? <laughs> and his opponents. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, weighing in at 210 pounds, Turbo Tony! I can tell already, though. The crowd's with Tony. But also, 220? Come on, he's like 250. I saw Tony having a, a flex off with a guy earlier. No kidding. And the guy actually was well, a little bit bigger. <laughs> Tony's got like 17 inch pythons. Wow. 18 inch pythons. Turbo Tony makes a display into the ring after greeting the crowd. I notice a little more animated greets for Tony's certain fans than others. Yeah. His adrenaline is flowing after that win earlier. It's our main He's event. He's taking the kidney belt off. Brian Idol business. Turbo Tony. Dan, you're the consigliere for Turbo Tony. Yes, nice. sir. What, what's, what's, his, what's his mind going into tonight? So he was not, he didn't know what to expect in the first match. And he put all of his mental focus on this one. Yeah. And he knew that with, with Test, yeah. the Test would always have his back. But Absolutely. this one, he's on his own. Our, so he's been training really hard for this one. He's been doing lots and lots of curls. He can now bench actually 780 pounds. Wow. Uh, he did, I think it was 78,000 sit-ups between just to prepare. Huh. Not a real number. Um, he also now can squat uh, Volkswagen Beetle. It's like a Herschel walk-in number. I think. Nice. And because of all that, he really mentally prepared. Brian, I don't And then he, you know, of course he did the ayahuasca trip. Okay. Okay. That's even The fun. ayahuasca trip to yep. prepare for this too. So it really centered him mentally in the, re the referees, Carlos and Brian Idol is Dane Mayfield has been dire oh, Tony. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, he's telling me about all about to Mexico. Okay. Um, really, it really helped him vision for his career being uh, having having a little conversation with the uh, homies homies uh, 
Ryan Idle, of course, has faced off against Hobo Hank twice. And what is his record against Hobo Hank? 0-2 oh, in the oh, oh, City two, That's right. Wrestling. Goose egg. He keeps trying. Tony knows that. Tony knows that. Uh -oh. Tony also. Are we going to have a pose off here? Or are we have a little bit of a pose off? Oh, the crowd is begging for some action. I don't think I can say what that means. It's kind of mean. Yeah. You just have to watch. <laughs> Tony getting the crowd on his side. Yeah. Brian Idol walking around like he owns the ring. I think I, throw, I think I saw him throw a snot rocket in the middle of the ring. Ew. People got to wrestle there, Fred. The crowd is already on both sides. Oh, oh, already. Oh, okay. Idol's already frustrated. You, you can't let the crowd get in your head like that. You know? It, it, when you're that pretty, you got to focus on It's like on the, the don't hate me because I'm beautiful thing. Oh, all right. And look at Tony. Tony knows he's beautiful. Tony knows he's the best looking guy in the ring. Yeah. A little bit of a psychological game going on. Not, not sure which way. Brian Idol just ignoring the 10 count. The crowd behind this us. Is, <laughs> the crowd behind us uh, really needs to get the match going. I can tell that Tony went to do his new waxer this week. Okay. He was going to try out a new chest waxer. It looks like that worked out well. I didn't know you guys were that close. Yeah, I'm that, noticing a lot of yeah. insider info here, Dan. Yeah. Huh. So you said he uses what shampoo on his bald head? They're locked up mid-ring. <laughs> hey, Loki, I don't know how bald people clean their heads. I, is it shampoo? I really don't know. I assume it's a bar of soap, right? Yes. You and I both have hair, so. Yes. In Tony's case, it's like a mixture of lava and soap. <laughs> the lava soap that was in my dad's garage yes. for the yeah. 20 years. It's got the grit. Uh -huh. It's got the grit. Yep. Well, he's always working on his motorcycle, and it, the grease keeps dripping on his head, so he's got to figure out a way to get, it, get ah, it out of his hair. Gotcha. We've yet to have a lockup here. There we go. There it goes. Oh, almost. Shoot. Tony's Shoots trying to push his hands away. Brian Tony. Idle in advantage. Double arm lock. Tony. Plays Turbo Tony over. Snap I don't there. think Tony's it's not going to plan for Tony because he wanted to lock Brian up early. He didn't yeah. want to get tied up himself in the first little bit of this. I will say this. Um, Hobo Hank, obviously. Thunder, obviously. Multiple battles against Tyler Copeland. Brian Idol is as top tier of a competitor as Turbo Tony has ever faced. I agree on that, yeah, for sure. This is probably one of the biggest matches of Turbo Tony's life. Tony is looking more athletic than he has, that's for sure. I think oh, head scissors from Tony after the drop kick. I think all those sit-ups are paying off, the 78,000 sit-ups he did well, between the last match and this one. And uh, looking at social media, I saw that Turbo Tony's actually been traveling across the United States out of New Mexico. Uh, on foot. On, not on foot. Here's all, the replay. Just all on foot. He, he did that walking. Here's the replay of that series as action continues on his Chevrolet legs. Oh, shot uh, to the back of the head. Is, he, he, made a, he made an alliance with uh, Tommy Tess, and they've actually been fighting as a tag team outside of New Mexico, representing New Mexico. They were victorious it, over Reno in class earlier tonight. Correct. I know that him and, him and Tommy have been getting very close and yeah. really feeling each other. I think Tommy's going to go with him to Mexico for an ayahuasca trip soon, too. Wording, Dan. I, I wonder if they, they wash their, their bald heads together. <laughs> with the lava soap? With the lava soap. Shot, take, take turns. Shot to the jaw, and that'll smarten up the wisdom teeth. Huh. Hits him with the rear elbow oh, there. Tony had the wisdom teeth removed years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two in a row, three in a row. Were you there? Straight right. <laughs> oh, this is just a, this is just a embarrassment of bruising. Finally, oh. finally he caught one. Tony Give with a straight back, just right back to him. Breaking the eyes of Turbo Tony. This Brian Idol shot to the back of the head. Uh, Brian Idol, no stranger to the shortcut. Great wrestler, he doesn't really need to, but. Oh, that's a little sexual. He hasn't been as dirty in this match as he has been in other matches, too. Yeah, well, he uses the lava soap. Right, yeah, put on pump. Idol on his feet. He's standing Tony, in the advantage. Tony is 100% committed to clean matches. I mean, I think one of the things he was telling me about uh -oh, fighting Brian Idol tonight was he knew that Brian 
wouldn't try anything shady. It would be straight up wrestling. Up and under on the hook and the vanity pin. No, as Turbo Tony kicks out. Oh, a little choke holding. I don't like that at all. Uh, referee Carlos looking in, trying to figure out if Not it's a Not doing anything line. about it. Is that a legal It's one? a clear choke hold. I think Brian Idol is trying to explain it's a pin attempt. That's simply not true. I can see it from here, Fred. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't know what's wrong with Carlos's eyes. It looks like Brian Idol is resorting to some of the underhanded tricks he doesn't normally use. Tony's that strong a competitor. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes to get the advantage, some wrestlers will take the shortcut. I'm not a, not a fan of it, but. High oh, knee for knee Brian to the Idol. Chest. A little bit of a strut. A oh, 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 oh. little bit of a strut. Asking for some accolades from the crowd, not getting it. It's not cool in the L ray. No, no, no. We want to see more high flying action. The crowd knows yeah. the crowd's here for Tony. And the Lock. crowd wants to see more of that athleticism that Tony's known for. Lock from behind. More of the high flying jumps. Tony's got it blocked. Oh, oh elbow to the back of the head. Gosh. Climbing all over Tony. Uh, it feels like, I'm, I'm sorry, Dan, it feels like Brian Idol has Turbo Tony's number. Tonight. I agree. He's He's got, he does right now. Got him locked, locked here in a kind of single chicken wing, I guess, a yeah. step over. And, I, yeah. Oh, the oh, fingers, fingers, too. Oh, fingers. gross. A little bit I, of the, can, I can hear Tony yelling from here. A little bit of the English technical wrestling, a little bit of the, the joint manipulation. It's not cuticle. <laughs> He's just holding his arm. And Turbo Shoving Tony Tony's. is uh, not in a good position. Tony's finally getting up. I think it's good. The tide's going to turn here, gentlemen. Oh, three quick shots. Brian Idol might have turned. Oh. oh, he goes down. Tony doesn't like to be rear elbow. Tony doesn't like to be held down, and he needs that right hand for working on his motorcycles. End of the ropes. That's a good point. Slam oh. there. Oh, power slam. Oh, all oh. three. So close, so close. Tony knows it. Brian knows it. More importantly, Brian knows it. I think a close. lot of the audience thought that that was the uh, the three count. Let's see the replay. I think the, the audience is mad at the ref now. Look at that power slam. Oh, why we see the swan ton bomb again. Tony's going for it. Off Brian Idol's up. Oh, he hit the ref. Brian Idol does not know where he is. He no. does not know who he is. Might have misplaced the he ref. He just knows he's good looking. I think Carlos, the ref, dropped his phone. Two in a row. I believe that's the receiver for the earpiece oh. in the back. Shot to the chin there. Oh, all right. Well, we what got a little ring. Let's both both let's going up on the turnbuckle. That? We'll just use this corner for action. We're going to see some uh, avalanche uh, superplex. Tony's got the higher. Oh, wow. So much strength from Brian Idol. The L Ray is an old building, but I still felt that through the floor. There's the pin. No, no, not enough. Wow. Brian Idol is genuinely stunned that he couldn't keep Tony down. You have down. to ask yourself, what else can Brian Idol do to, to, to put Turbo Tony down? What other moves does Brian have in his toolbox? Wow. I think he's, he showed he's definitely got some strength in him. Brian Idol, who you're familiar with from the reality TV show, Billy Corgan's Adventures in Carneyland, setting up here for the Idolizer. Middle rope, top rope. Oh, and Tony he slides out of the way. Miscalculation. Turbo Tony had that move scouted. I guess he saw that show. The current FTW heavyweight champ, former WWC Puerto Rico champ. Tony's taking him over the over his shoulder. Oh wow. Of course. Oh, oh, not quite. Couldn't get. Oh, and that's just the don't you do that tap. Into the corner, Carlos. Oh, oh he's Tony okay. caught himself. Oh, oh. taking Carlos the ref oh, down. Did. Carlos took a super kick to the face, and he's I made think, of uh, paper. I think Brian is just confused. He doesn't know who he's fighting anymore. Turbo Tony trying to finish him off here. The crowd right. can count forever. Oh, oh, what's happening? What's oh, happening? No, we got someone coming from the back. Devin Reno. Get out of there, Tony. Get out of there. Tony, run. Of course, these two battled earlier tonight. Oh, for the Billionaire Boys Club, Devin Reno. Such a stupid name. Yeah. 
Brian Idle just sitting back and watching. Turbo Tony trying to equalize. Oh, puts him down. And referee Carlos is still out of action. Do we have another referee anywhere? Reno, whoa, 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 what's, what's going on? What's happening here? Here comes Tony class. taking on all four. Tony, get out of there, Tony. With oh, the steel. Oh, oh, God. You know, you can fight so much, but a, a steel chair is going to put you down every time. Wow. Carlos being helped up by Brian Idle. One, two. Okay, and that's all she wrote. So what was I saying about Tony? Here Hattie is your and winner. And Brian fighting Brian clean. Idle. Tony had lots of faith in Brian fighting clean. I think Tony was actually a fan of Brian. I don't necessarily tonight. know if Brian Idle called for the help of the billionaire boys. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think he did either. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't know if he kicked Carlos the referee in the face on purpose. I think he might have been confused. Let's see the replay here. Yeah, you do but see I, it on I the I can replay. tell you that Tony is not going to be the fan of Brian Idol no. before. And Class and Devin Reno are strutting around the outside of the ring. Oh, that's a chair shot. Sure proud of it. I did like how he hits Tony as hard as he can they, with the chair, do you think but then he lightly put the chair down. I guess the question we have to ask ourselves now, are the Billionaire Boys Club in cahoots with Brian Idol? Who knows? As far as good looking dudes, there's a lot of them right there. Dan Mayfield, thank you for joining us. Let's go back to the ring now. Gotta go back. Oh, it looks wow. like Tony needs to get out of there while he can. Tony, save yourself. Referee Carlos trying to step in. I don't know what he possibly could do here. Oh. Uh oh. What are they gonna do there? This is ridiculous. First, Tony, is, first is hero Max Verstappen loses a Formula One race, and now this. <laughs> Tony's wrestled two matches tonight. Here, oh, 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 oh. Here comes the Calvary. I was wondering where that was happening. Class and Reno out the ring. It has been cleared. He's got the weight belt. By two scoops. You don't want to get hit with that weight belt. That would have hurt so much. And two scoops. Alongside his tag team partner, Turbo Tony. It's got to be one of the most popular tag teams here. Absolutely. In City Championship Wrestling now. In, in, in DCCW history, I think they are the most popular tag team, for sure. Class and Reno making their way through the crowd. Getting booed, getting thumbs down all the way out. Tony and Two Scoops know it. If Fernando comes out, Tony's going to demand a rematch. I think he deserves a rematch. He fought three guys. He's fought five already tonight. Yeah, fair enough. Fair point. Little extracurricular. And a tough loss for Turbo Tony as Brian Idol secures his first one in Duke City Championship Wrestling. Tough win. It's amazing. But, yeah. Tony should have got, he let himself get caught like that. And normally he has a good sixth sense about everything going on around him. But tonight it didn't seem like he had that. Anything can happen in Duke City Championship Wrestling. Dan Mayfield, thank you so very much for thank being you. our main event commentator tonight. You got it. Final words, Chris Burnett. Man, it's been a crazy night. We've seen all kinds of things. Turbo Tony lost. Brian Idol won. Who knew that would happen? We're celebrating birthday this week. Theater. Good job, everyone. GG.